And what is a normal poop? Mm. Because that is something I feel like most people are not very clear on. Because we stop talking about poop with our children or whatever when our kids are done potty trained, being potty trained. Maybe when they're five and six, we say, did you poop today? But we don't ask anything else. Yeah. Right. And if you go visit your doctor for anything other than, you know, massive stomach issues and th they might ask on a form, like, do you poop regularly? Now, for some people, the answer is yes, I poop regularly once a week. Mm. That's not very helpful. Right. Yeah. So I have a whole list litany of questions that I talk to my clients about, obviously, because it's my work, but a, a, a normal bowel movement right? Being unconstipated is moving your bowels daily without strain, not having to sit on the toilet for 15 minutes, right? Waiting to poop. It should be like I, a feeling I have to poop. I go to the bathroom. I evacuate my bowels. Um, there is something people can refer to called the Bristol stool chart, and it has pictures um, it labels poops one to seven. One would be a poop that looked like a goat pellet. And that's what I was going to say for people who have goat pellet poops. I sometimes like to think that we're maybe not moisturized from the inside out. And some MCT oil, medium chain triglyceride oil, um, you can put it in your morning coffee, can sometimes help. And also making sure that your omega status, your omega-3 status is good. Um, that were lubricated from the inside out. That's number one on the Bristol stool chart, that poop that looks like uh, goats pe goat pellets. And then at the bottom, number seven is diarrhea. So what we're looking for, the perfect poop is the number four. And that looks like a cylindrical snake. If it's a long poop, it curls up in the toilet. It doesn't break. It doesn't have hard edges. It's dark in color. Um, but not black. There's never blood right in our stool. Mm. That's always a warning. If anyone ever sees blood in their stool to reach out to their primary care physician. Um, and it should be easy to pass. And when you wipe, it shouldn't be a mess. That is a perfect poop. Mm. Yeah. Um, what, what I teach is, I don't know if you've seen the poopy police lineup. I haven't. No. So uh, let me, let me see if I can, actually get it up on the screen there we go okay so let me see if i can enlarge that maybe you can't yeah you can't see it very well but basically here's here's the poopy policeman on the right so you can see it's like a nice chocolate brown kind of color mm -hmm. quite big and mm -hmm. the recommendation is you should be passing about 12 inches a day of of the poopy policeman but then you've got different types of poops here as well so you've got flasher so that's someone that's not digesting all their food properly this one's diarrhea so it's obviously <laughs> diarrhea this is pellet man which you described this is bodybuilder man so this is really dry so this would be really hard to pass mm -hmm. you know a lot of effort required this would be this is olympic swimmer so this is ones that come out very white which might be someone that can't um, absorb their fats very well and this this one on the left is toxic man so this one would be really stinky so quite dark in color and very stinky so mm -hmm. we, That's we funny. yeah and it, i mean it's funny because it's when you show it to children they laugh and they think it's quite entertaining but actually it's, it's just as educational for, for adults as well and uh, yeah there's a bit of humor to it as well but um so it's it's, it's just an alternative to the um to the bristol chart basically mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 